Hey everyone, this is Kevin from Fort Orange Woodworking and today's video is going to be non-woodworking related as I am going to be reviewing the Rigid Power Clear Drain Cleaner Auger. Uh, this is a bit of a unexpected video and review as I have a little bit of a situation here in my own bathroom. Uh, I have a, a pretty serious clog which I believe is the result of rust buildup. So it's gonna be a pretty tough clog to get through. And unfortunately, my plumber is not available. So I had to make a bit of an emergency decision and purchase either a standard drum auger, which is used um, with your power drill, or one of those hand augers, which I have just no, I've had no luck with snakes and that style of auger in the past. So I decided that I was gonna go with a pretty significant upgrade and take a shot at this um, rigid power clear electric auger. So hopefully this will clear the drain. I have no idea, but if it works on this thing, it's gonna work on anything. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what's in the box. Okay, so in the box, we've got our set of instructions. And before I dive into it, just so you know, this cost me $209 today at Home Depot. We've got our quick instructions and the full set of instructions in the manual. We've got the hose. And we've got the auger itself with a two prong power cord. And it's got an automatic power switch to prevent malfunction, overuse, overheating, that sort of thing. Let me just strip this cardboard off. Here's where we have the auger and just a piece of plastic. Looks like this is either uh, a foot pump or the on off for use but I'm gonna read the instructions and figure out what all my parts are before I get started. So that's it, not a lot in the box. Let's see how it works. Now, a couple of things that I have already learned from reading through the instruction manual. Um, very important for this piece of equipment that you read the instructions. The foot pedal turns the auger on and off. When you press it, it turns on. When you release, um, it turns off. The larger hose is a two-piece hose. It can either connect to be an 18-inch piece, or if you connect the two of them together at the midpoint, it becomes a 48-inch piece. The two levers at the top are for advancing the coil and retrieving it when you're done or backing it up by pressing forward or backwards. Um, the, the turn will rotate it backward or forward as necessary. And lastly, on the unit itself, this rubber stopper at either end of the hose is necessary to keep the cable from spinning. So those are all important po points. If you haven't used an electric auger before, keep in mind, you gotta read these instructions, know what you're doing. Do a little bit of a test run before you stick it in your drain. Um, but now what I wanna do is show you what it is that we're dealing with here for this review. Here is here is my bathtub that we are going to be working on. The brown specks are part of the clog, mostly rust pieces, little flakes. And that's what tells me that this is gonna be a bad one, those little pieces of metal coming back up when I tried to plunge it. Now, when you're dealing with a bathtub, you don't wanna go straight through the drain hole. What you wanna do is you wanna remove your end cap for your lever, take that piece off, and that's where you're gonna be entering with the cable. So I'm gonna set up, add a little water, and see how this power cleaner works. Let's give it a shot. Okay. 
it's only been about five seconds and you can see already the tub is starting to fill the drain is open and the water is just coming right back up fortunately for me it's not leaking into any significant part of the house but just to be on the safe side i'm not going to fill this a whole lot just enough so that if we clear the draw the drain clog we'll know because this water will start going down right away so that should be about enough Next, we're going to release this cap on the overflow. This is not the first time I've had this problem in this house. These pipes are about 70 years old. They flake an awful lot, and most of them are near the end of their lifespan. As I encounter these problems, I cut them out. I have, well, my plumber cuts them out and replaces them with PVC. But since he's not available, I'm going to have to attempt this on my own. So this is the, the back setup for my tub. That main brass pipe in the center of the screen is the drain for my tub. It's got the hot and cold to the left and right of that. And to the far left of the screen, right next to that drywall, is the ventilation pipe that leads up through the roof. That ventilation pipe also has a Fernco cap as part of the ventilation system. And underneath that Fernco cap, is a pipe that goes this way under the floor to the main drain. And that was the hole that I had to find. So I left the front of the tub, I came to the back of the tub, I went through this Fernco cap and under the floor to find the clog. And that's where the clog was. Now, if you see this angle, there were several paths that that snake could take and it did. At a couple times it came up through the brass and at one point it came through the ventilation pipe. 
So that made it a little bit tricky. But once I got it into the proper pipe, it cleared pretty quickly. So overall, I'm pleased with the snake, if not the uh, setup of my tub to make it difficult. All right, so I'm going to climb out of the closet here and talk to you for one more second and show you how to put this this uh, auger away because um, there's one more tricky part to it. So stand by, let's, let's get back to the front of the bathroom. Well, I did manage to solve the problem. And here is the culprit. This nasty, disgusting buildup of hair and gunk that's been sitting there for probably 10 years or more. I can't wait to throw this thing out and be done with it. Uh, before I do that though, I'm gonna show you that it is in fact running properly. So I'm gonna run some water, show you that. You can see that the tub is still pretty filthy. I gotta clean that up, but the water is flowing very, very nicely through that drain right now. It is, it is completely open, so there is no leftover buildup for me to worry about at this point until I am ready to remodel this bathroom completely. This should uh, serve me well until I'm ready to handle that one. Turn this off quick. Oop, fix my handle. And you can see that the, uh, the water is just gone and I have no problems in the back. Everything's put together again nicely. So we are back in business with this tub. And here's one more shot of that nasty, disgusting culprit. Big old twisted clog of hair and hair ties and gunk. Gross. Now, before we go, I wanna show you one more important step about putting away your snake so that you don't ruin the cable trying to put it away. So I've got my auger, I've got my hose. You gotta make sure that you have the tight seal over this, otherwise it, it'll just coil up on you. So make a tight seal with the rubber gasket. I can put this back down now. And I've got quite a bit of hose that needs to get put back away. I've got about three, four feet. So I'm gonna press my pedal, which you can't see, but it's the little pump pedal. But when I do, I'm gonna hit the reverse button and I'm gonna squeeze and hold, and I'm gonna turn this on with the foot pedal. And as I do that, I'm gonna gently assist this in feeding it back down. If I don't hold it and assist it, it'll whip. Now, once I get it to there, I can remove my hose. Let the snake fall back through. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the short hose back on and that's how I'm gonna store it. So I'm gonna put the short hose back on, feed it back through. There we go. Doesn't give you a lot of space to work with. Reset that gasket. And then reverse this to the end. Press the reverse button.
feed it back down. And that's how I'm going to store this, just like that. And that's it. So my thoughts on this are, and you, you take it for what you feel it's worth. I spent $209 on this. It's Friday night. It's currently 10 o'clock. It took me about two hours to unpack this, tape the segment, read the instructions, give myself a little bit of a dry run, and then learn my mistakes. I knew I couldn't go in through the main drain. I couldn't go in through the front of the tub. I had to clear out my closet behind me and access the back panel. And I had a little bit of experimentation to do. Uh, a professional plumber would have probably done this much faster. I don't think they would have struggled with this job. I think it would have been pretty simple once they realized it was just a hair clog. I think this would have been way too difficult for like a Drano or some kind of cleaning product to, to bust through. So my impressions are, I think that the 209 bucks was totally worth it. I could have maybe spent the 35 or 40 bucks on a regular drill powered drum auger, but I don't know if it would have had the control I needed in that little tiny tight space that I was trying to work in. So for me, um, this was totally worth it. It was probably about the same as bringing a plumber out for a regular visit, but like I said, good luck finding a plumber on a Friday night or a Saturday that's not gonna charge you extra. And now that I know how to use this, I can use it again. So if I have another clog, another problem, I've already laid the groundwork and I know how to use it. So I think it was a decent investment. If you're so inclined to, to um, have a, a, a drain snake in your home as part of your home improvement collection, I think this is a pretty good little investment. A little bit on the pricey side, 209 bucks, but maybe you can justify it like I did, make it worth it. I'm massively relieved that this thing did in fact work. Um, so I'm happy that I made the purchase. Well, everyone, thank you so much for tuning in. I know that this wasn't the most exciting or interesting or cool video that I've ever done, but I hope that this tool review can be of help to somebody along the way. As always, feel free to reach out to me in the comments, leave questions. I love to hear from you. Happy to help you out if I can. Um, next time, hopefully, I will see you in the shop and we'll have a little bit more fun. Thanks everyone, take care.